Hi guys, it's me Andrea. I will show you today how I alter a frame. So I bought this frame, I really I found it at the flea market and it's one of these tacky ones, very heavy and now it's rubbish. <laughs> it's plastic. Bought that at the 99 cent shop, you know. And uh, I, thought, I saw it and I thought, oh gosh, that's tacky. But you could make that nice, you know, and um, if that would be all, that would be, whoa, wonderful, because, but because it's plastic and, yeah, like this, and it's uh, made with a mold, you know, one piece, because of that, it's tacky, yeah, that's, that's a problem, but I, I, it's not that I, I love this stuff, but when you treat it in the right way and that's what i will do a bit of my uh, favorite here for vintage i know vintage for me is always turquoise it's a bit of a patina you know and i will use some crackle paste in white and of course the most important thing is my rusty stuff that's um iron ground that's the iron primer it's it's pure iron powder in a medium in here and of course I need the oxidation medium that's I have that next to it but I never show that process because I do that outside it's pretty stinky and I don't want to have that here in my my studio so that's why I never show that part of um, process but it's not the most inter interesting part so okay what I did so far so it's pure plastic it was white plastic and the problem is there's not really paint uh, sticking on plastic very well so I went over it with white gesso first but because I couldn't see if I have filled in all these creases and crevices and valleys and whatever it is I went over with a black layer of gesso to make sure that everything is covered and then again went over loosely with white gesso so now i think it's ready to work on it and i will start with my paint um, because then afterwards i will decide where to put the rust because when i do it the other way it's more more difficult to work with the paint now i can really go over with my brush, with my baby wipe, you know, to blend it out and, and have a bit um, more coverage, a bit less, and it's much, much easier. And then at the end, I will put um, the rust on and then I will have a look what else. And of course, a bit of crackle here and there, but I will decide that during the process. So that's it. That's everything you need to know. And I will start now. Okay, so as I said before, I will start with my turquoise here and I uh, put a complete layer on top of that. That means um, I really go here into all these creases and crevices and try to cover everything. And it takes, especially on this plastic, okay, there's gesso on top, but it takes a while to dry completely through, so I can now start here to um, get rid of some paint with my baby wipe to make it look more, yeah, messy, old, distressed, because on, on a really old frame you won't have an equal layer of paint, you will have a thinner area or damaged area, whatever, so that's why I remove some stuff here with my baby wipe to make it more, uh, actually to make it look more interesting. So first I start with my crackle paint here and I put it on mostly on um, these flat areas because it's a bit difficult in, in that raised areas because I like this crackle paste a lot. You can heat dry it, it, it dries in no time, really fantastic. The problem is it might flake that's this viva viva um, um, crackle paste but it might flake so that's why it's always important to work over it with a medium if it's paint or acrylic varnish or whatever it is 
um, that's what it needs to make sure that it doesn't flake. Um, but I really prefer it to all the other stuff. There are so many cracker stuff outside you can get, but most of them makes you wait for, oh, I don't know how long to, and even I had once, um, it's from Indigo Blue one, you have to wait days for it to um, to dry, to crackle, and at the end of the day it flakes as well, so what? Yeah. Okay, this is my first layer of um, rust, this is the rust medium I use, the first layer should be, or um, it's, it's a thin layer, it's type of a primer, you're priming that and it dries quick, you can heat dry it, it's not a problem. It makes basically your iron stick better to it, you know, when you have a thin layer of that. So that's the areas I want to have the rust and heat dry it now quickly. That dries really in no time, absolutely fantastic. And then I go on with my thick layer. And uh, the funny thing is always you can see when you get the rust medium here out of the pot or out of the jar, it is really gray. And it starts immediately to oxidize. It's, it's, it's so funny. As soon as it gets contact with the air, the process starts. Of course, not so quick that you get the immediate rust effect. That's why you need the oxide liquid stuff. And um, I, it needs to dry, but you need to get the right moment when it's almost dry but still tacky so that you can um, put the oxidation uh, medium on top. So um, no heat drying here. Uh, you have to wait for it, but it doesn't take ages. So um, I've put the liquid stuff on. I do that outside because this chemical stuff stinks Oh, awfully. What I do now, I put some, um, yeah, to enhance or, yeah, the crackles. I put some a dark, I think it's burnt sienna, and rub it into the crackles and I remove it from the surface with a baby wipe. So, and for this, um, this um, raised parts here, the decorative, decorative, decorative parts, gosh, this word. Um, I use um, copper gilding wax and rub it on top and that's basically it. What I do, um, I will give it a nice polish, uh, buff it up here with my cloth and that's it. So I won't do something else to it. What I won't do is I, I won't use it as a picture frame. It will be a piece by itself without a picture in. I think with a picture in it that would be too much. That would be really tacky. I think it's a better way to use it as um, yeah decoration. So that's um, what I will do I think. We'll see. Haven't hung it yet so um, might be I might be someone might likes it and I, I give it away. I don't know yet. Haven't made. Oh, I didn't make my mind up up yet. So that's it. You will see some pictures coming, and if you like it, please leave me thumbs up and uh, leave me even a comment. That would be absolutely fantastic and so much appreciated. And I thank you so much for much for watching, guys. And I hope I will see you soon with my next project. So have a fantastic time. Bye bye.